All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to repair or rebuild the e-trailer style or ram style marine jack. Whether it's got the dual wheel, the single wheel, it doesn't matter too much there. We just wanna be sure we're looking at the 1500 pound capacity model. And basically there's only really four little kits that will go into the jack that you might need if your jack fails you. The first is gonna be our bearing. Now that's gonna sit right underneath the steel plate inside of the jack. And you can see this portion spins free of the outside. That's gonna reduce the friction as we're cranking that handle and our gears turning. This reduces the friction in our jack. So if it starts getting tougher to turn, that might be our culprit there. Just above that plate, we've got our gear set. Now, the gear set that's got the full pass through there, that's the one that rides on our handle and it rotates that lower gear, turning the screw, causing our jack, our jack to raise and lower. And these are both gonna come with the pins that we need. Lower gear is pretty easy to tell. You see it's gonna capture the pin so it won't slide out. Where the side gear, that will allow the pin to actually pass all the way through. There's a small spring style keeper on there. We'll show you how to get that removed here in just a minute. Now another point of failure is this little pin that goes through the jack handle. If you try cranking on your jack too much or if it's raised up too high, you don't realize it and you keep cranking on it, you might shear that pin off. See it fits right through the hole here. This pin goes through both our gear and our handle on the jack and as we turn the jack handle, the gear spins rotating our other gear. Now we've also got a cap. A lot of times these are gonna break. Somebody sets something down on them or maybe it gets hit with a tool, something like that, gets a crack in it, moisture, dirt, debris start getting in there. That's where we start getting our jack failure. So we've got our replacement cap here. That's gonna come with the small screw that you need to attach it. Now as far as part numbers go, this is gonna be MJ-1500B-CP. It's for the cap and screw. For the handle and pins, part number MJ-1500B-HD. For the gear kits, which will have two pins and two gears, part number is TJA-2000S-GR. And the bearing is gonna be part number TJA-2000S-BR. Let's kinda set these aside for a second. Bring our jack over. First thing we need to do is take out that small screw on the top. A few of the tools we're gonna need, gonna be just a regular Phillips screwdriver and a hammer. Needle nose pliers come in pretty handy. A small pick or screwdriver is a good idea for that spring clip that's on one of our gears. And then a 532nd punch, the flat tip on it, it's typically what we use to drive out our pins. Start with our Phillips screwdriver. Let's get the screw removed from our cap here. Pull that old one off. Now if all you're replacing is the cap, put our new one in, put the screw back in, your job's done. I'm gonna set that aside for now. There's gonna be some grease in there, so it's a good idea to grab a towel and kind of clean out whatever you've got in there. Probably isn't gonna be this clean looking. If your jacks failed you, there's some dirt, and some moisture and stuff like that in there. So let's get that all kind of cleaned out. We'll have another opportunity to later to do it after we have those parts out of the way. Now you can kind of see on our upper gear as we rotate it, see a small little indention in it. It's gonna be that small indention there. That's where we want our pen to slide out of. We just want to reach in with our pick, find the end of that spring, and then kind of pull outward and upward at the same time. And see, and then we'll just release it so it'll go along, along that back side. It'll pop off for us just like that. I'm going to take our punch, we're going to place it right on the end of that pin and start driving it through. Now at that point our handle should turn free of the gear. So let's lift our handle up and out. 
at this point if you're only doing the handle replacement put your new handle in new pin in bring your spring clip back down you'll be set there but we're going to keep going here it's going to be a small spacer that's in there we'll pull that out the handle gear you can see here's that spring clip we'll set these aside We've got spacers that are going to be in the top and the bottom. That just helps to keep our handle centered and keeps it from wearing on the outside edge of the jack. So let's get both of those just taken out out of the way for now. Now these typically aren't going to be a source of failure and never really round out. You can see they're nice and thick. So these will typically just be reusing. Now if we grab our needle nose there, we can grab that larger gear, that base gear, just like the other one. It's got that capture. Set it aside, and then we'll rotate our foot of our jack just slightly there. And that pin will pull out just like that. Now if the gears are your concern, or if your gears are the issue, I'm just gonna reverse that process for putting the gears back in. But there's one other component, and that's that bearing that we talked about. We'll stand our jack upright. We're gonna lift the outer tube off of our inner tube. And you'll see right there is where that thrush bearing is gonna fit. That one will come off. Grab our new bearing. I'm gonna slide that right back on. You'll see our screw mechanism there. As we turn that, that pushes that foot further away from the top of the jack or brings it closer to the top of the jack. And that's how our jack essentially operates. And what we're gonna do, you can see nice clear shot through our jack there. Tend to bring this back down on. We've got that plate right there that needs to drop back through. One side of the jack has a larger opening, the other side's a smaller opening. That small tab that sticks off should be in that smaller opening. And we're gonna bring that up until our screw passes through that plate, just like that. Now we can take our pin, we wanna put it through the hole that's in our jack. We might need to rotate our wheels just slightly to get it to fit a little gap right there above that plate that we can stick it in, grab it with our needle nose, slide it back up, and then rotate it so it's sitting kind of flat with the ground. If it's up and down, it might just drop down and fall out of there. Now we're going to place that right down on. We just want to make sure that the pin sits down in the area that's meant to. Remember those spacers we talked about? One goes on the bottom there, the other goes on the top. Now gravity is going to kind of try to fight you on that deal. So if that won't stay, then just rotate your jack. Now we need to slide our handle in just a little ways there. Onto that, we'll slide our spring clip, slide on our bearing. And then we also want to slide on that spacer. Let's rotate that so that we can see the opening. You can see if we rotate it, we can see where that pinhole lines up with the handle. So you grab our pin, get that stuck back in there. We'll grab our punch again and start tapping that in. And we'll tap that in far enough so that both sides are sitting inside of that small notch where that keeper spring fits. All right, that looks good. Now this can be a little bit tricky getting the spring back in place, but it's not something that is impossible. What we wanna do is just kinda rotate it until we find the end. Now with our spring clip, we just want to kind of bring that up and start getting it fit into that groove. And kind of work all the way around that outside. And we want it to get it fully seated 
into that notch it came out of before. Alright, now once that's back in place, you just want to be sure that your jack's operating very nice, very smoothly, and we'll fill it up with some grease. Make sure we're using a good quality grease. It doesn't have to be high temp or anything. So make sure we get everything fully coated. Our cap is going to fit right back on. A couple holes in it. You can see one right there. Just want to make sure you get one of those lined up with the hole that's in the outer tube of the jack there. And thread it in. Now with everything back together and working properly, that's going to be the rebuild of our e-trailer marine style 1500 pound jacks. With just a few tools and a few components, we're able to save ourselves quite a bit of money. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at e-trailer.com.